Hey, this is second period advanced Tuesday, November 7th. We just had a fun conversation and now we're all depressed. Uh, we're going to try and go forward and talk about what's going to happen when girls have poor choices. Uh, which leads into our poem about lines and all kinds of learning from there. And then quiz coming up on Friday. <laughs> now I've just confused any of you more. Uh, don't forget we bring in cans uh, to help support second period. Um, or um, whatever period you want to support, as long as it comes to me, that's fine. Uh, and then we have the composure homework up there. It's not called cheating. It's called manipulating the system. It's completely different. Uh, cheating would be stealing cans from other people. You are voluntarily giving the cans to me of your own will and volition. That's called manipulating the system. Uh, once again, we have homework up there. Aside from kids just getting grumpy and yelling at me, do next week. You're going to have to read a poem all on your own. And speaking of poems, we only got through like the first stanza of this one with you guys yesterday. So we did a quick one, and then we get to the fun part today. We're going to find out why we have a glove and title. <sighs> All right. Let's see the quick run through. King Francis was a hardy king and loved a royal sport. And one day as his lion spot sat looking on the court, the nobles filled the benches with the ladies in their pride. And amongst them sat the count of lords with one for whom he sighed. And truly t'was a gallant thing to see the crowning show, valor and love and a king above and the royal beasts below. Where, where's our poem <laughs> Place. I forgot that was the first thing that popped up. Nicely done in the Coliseum Arena. What's going on in the Coliseum Arena? The lions are fighting and stuff like that. And so now the picture comes up. Now my two words. There we go. Uh, the monks and twas. Why is it he has um, chopped off letters and re-glued them together to reform, reformicate things? That's a word, reformicate things. Sebastian? Nicely done the whole short. Because what should amongst really be? Amongst. amongst and twas is it, it, was. it was the same way in that um, the Christmas Carol no the the one with the whole twas the night before Christmas oh, that same poem it's because it has a syllable beat in each line and that's why it's not it was the night before Christmas it's twas the night before Christmas not just because it makes it feel all old and fancy but because he was trying to hit a certain syllable beat. We have a main character that pops up in our story so far. In Hollyhock, our first main character is... King Francis. King Francis. And all we know about him is that he's a king. Um, and does kingy stuff. And then we have a second character that pops up, at least officially by name, strong, and that is... A Count de Lourdes. Count de Lourdes. We know that he's, I don't know, something fancy. We'll find out more about him coming up. And then we have one other one who doesn't pop up by name, but is definitely going to play an important role in our story. And who's that going to be, Gavin? That is the woman, and what do we know about this woman? That she doesn't like him. And why do you say she doesn't like him? Because we couldn't write her on, obviously. We were just throwing out guesses. It's bad. Uh, does she like him? Does she not like him? It doesn't seem like yeah. she likes him. How do we know he likes her? Because he does. There you go, the creepy sign thing. Oh. And we're going to find out more about whether she likes him and whether it's really creepy or whether it's like, it could be this love thing people keep talking about. Uh, but he definitely is sighing and giving her a winky face, uh, looking over at her, not just because something's in this contact. And then we have uh, to there the fighting that goes on down below. And, oh, did that one for pride? No, the gallant. Once again, what does gallant mean? Manly and we got that, the manly brave thing. That's where you guys started talking about, like, discos and sparkles or something yesterday. It was all kinds of weird. Maybe that was my sixth period I was talking no, about. No, not like this. <laughs> you guys just don't want to claim it. You're like, we would never talk about stuff. I totally thought it was you guys. Anyway, pride. We got to the two meetings of pride yesterday. Or is that right where we stopped with you? Yeah. We got to one. Bianca? So ladies in their pride, it could be like their dresses and jewels that they're in. Because how they feel about them? They love them. Nice, we don't have work in the back. They love them. And Judy? Be honest. So, like a group of lions is also called a pride. So maybe the ladies are among the lions. Not, you're on the right track. But that's what he's referring to is the fact that it's a double meaning. One, the fact that the ladies are all dressed up because they're doing this flirty thing. Because you have all these famous rich dudes, these nobles, and the ladies come in because they're trying to get themselves hooked up and get themselves a man. And so they're in there looking as fancy as they can, and they're all dressed up in all their pride. But at the same time, you have a bunch of women who are all together in one spot, flirting with a limited number of guys. So how are those women going to treat each other? Like lions. Yeah, like lions. And so that's why it says these women in their pride, because they're all going to all... 
Uh, they're like, he's my man! But they're pushing each other off the edge because apparently when they come together, sometimes girls don't make the best of choices. Uh, and so as they're bringing themselves together. That's the two different meanings of pride. Stanza two, this is one big stanza that's going to try and get across one small, simple image. Go for it, brush. Wait, I have a question about the other stanza. Yeah. What was the word, like, can you go back and what was the word valid? Brave. I like, usually trying to impress women. All right, go for it. Out loud, you read the words. Oh. Okay. While she reads it, we're going to try and figure out what one image this whole thing is trying to get across. Ramping and roared the lion with four laughing jaws. They bit, they glared, gave blows like beans, and wind went through their paws. With wow, wow, wallowing, wallowing might, they stifted their roar. Stifled. <laughs> they rolled on one another till all the pit was sand and made. Was it a thunderstorm? Bloody foam above the bars came whisking through the air. Said Francis, then, faith, gentlemen, were better here than there. Well done. Oh. Rampton roared the lions with horrid laughing jaws. They bit, they glared, they blows like beams, a wind went with their paws. With wallowing might and stifled roar, they rolled on one another, till all the pit with sand and mane was in a thunderous smother. The bloody foam above the bars came whisking through the air. Said Francis, then, Faith, gentlemen, we're better here than there. Hey, Mr. hey, what's up, Mr. Gear? What up, you have seconds? I do. And the best part is we're recording class right now, so this will be saved forever and ever. Oh, that's always just perfect. I know, oh it's God. weird how this is perfect. happened to work it's out. Right. Right. Yes. I don't know if, if uh, many of you know who I am or not, but I did hear... Wait, let's find out. Here, uh, who is this right here? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. No idea. No idea. She claims to have... I teach math in Sea Hallway in the eighth grade. Uh -oh. Okay. And I heard a rumor yes. that I was a part of your haiku yesterday. Yes. <laughs> and that uh, I may need to come defend my honor because I could have been wrongly accused of <laughs> such action. <laughs> and uh, would you like to introduce yourself? No. No? Mrs. Shreya, I brought her along as a character witness. Minnie Minnie, you are not going to claim who you are? <laughs> Okay, so Shrey, could you um, could you please tell everybody what's the first thing we do when we get back from lunch every day? Uh, no, before that. Wow. We do the pledge, and immediately following the pledge, what do we do? We watch CNN for how long? Ten minutes on okay. CNN, and then uh, directly after CNN, the screen switches to a different screen, and then what do we do directly after? What do I personally do every day after that? I read the announcements and I do what? You skip seven grade. Yeah. Yes, when I got no, student of the sure. month, you skipped me on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay. okay I feel like I that is true. When she got student of the month, I did skip her up. And when I got into student okay. council, you skipped me. Okay, well, yes, yeah, because Riley's the president, so you don't matter. Okay, so we read the announcements then every single day. Uh, minus a few things here or there where there are 15,000 nicknames that take way too long. That's who do Mr. That? Bainey's announcements over golf and basketball right. and such. But we do read the announcements every day, and we talk about the fundraisers and all the different things that you can earn house points for, and the dances and all those things. All the students are plenty well aware of what's going on in the building. Right. Thank you, Shrimp. You are dismissed. All right. <laughs> I say on quiz days. Except on quiz no, days. One. One, one, one time? Which, I would argue, was for the benefit of my students, so they had enough time to actually finish the assessment. Because yeah, it is a 10th grade class. So heart is big. Credit. Heart, humongous heart. Black, but very large. Another person with a humongous heart who only cares about you, Shrylaika. There's so <laughs> many of us. Preparing. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Gearman. Yes. I, I appreciate that. Well, we've only made well, great. thank you for giving me an opportunity to you address the group, like the bonding. Now, yeah. to defend yourself so yes. next year we understand. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on, folks. We shall. When you have facts to back you up, I understand completely. We should have read some of the haikus. Time-wise, we have to oh get to the I know.
Oh, hey, learning. back to learning in the fact that this is recorded for posterity forever and ever and ever. Uh, one image this whole stanza is trying to get across to us, for those of you who did not get distracted by the large angry man. I don't even remember what it's called. large angry man. Man, it brings back. It's all the girls fighting over the guys. Ooh. The lions. No, I like your, you went no. way too deep. You actually got to bring it back. It's much more surface area. So you, you, you actually like took a full dive into it. Uh, but no, it's not talking about the women fighting. It's just talking about the... Lions. Yeah, this is much simpler. Okay. They're just talking about the fact that the lions are <laughs> fighting. I know. You, you did impress it, yeah. Okay. Um, and the idea here is that last line. No. Horrid. We'll skip that one for now. Game blows like beams. Similar metaphor. You guys know what a, a beam is? When it says a beam. Nice. It's uh, the beam is the thing that they hold up ceilings with. So it says it gave a blow like a beam, meaning like if you were to swing like oh. these things, like so the lions like their paws are hitting each other, like knocking each other back and forth. They're big and strong and tough, so it gave no. blows like beams. Um, and then our last sentence where the king says, "Faith, gentlemen, we're better here than there." Here being where? The arena. Where in the arena? The the, 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 the Nicely done. And as opposed, and where's the they're referring to? And not with the lions. So the idea that they're watching the fact that this whole stanza is all of these lions fighting, they're like little bits of flying, flying into the air, and they're rolling around like hiss, hiss, and death, and blood, and the king is like, er, my God. He's like, we're so much better off being safe up here than down there, because down there would be awful. Now, once again, does the girl like the boy? No. We're going to find out. Stanza three, we're going to find out how she feels. Normally I'd have you guys read, but we had to take a little gear time out, which might have eaten up a little bit of time on that one. I didn't realize he was actually going to come by. He said he was, but I thought he was full of lies, because Trileka said he lied all the time, but apparently. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Delorge's love overheard the king, a beauteous, lively dame, with smiling lips and sharp, bright eyes, which always seemed the same. She thought the count, my lover, is brave as brave can be. He surely would do wondrous things to show his love of me. King, ladies, lovers, all look on. The occasion is divine. I'll drop my glove to prove his love. Great glory will be mine. Oh. Uh, uh, by the way, over means what? Over. Uh, is brave as brave can be. Very. What's wrong with this? It says brave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. I'm comparing bravery to bravery, which just makes me get upset. So we have the lady who's up top, and we have all the lions down below. And this was an old flirting ritual. Um, when you were a lady, and you had a, a, a guy that you had uh, special feelings for, and you were wearing your glove. Um, <laughs> Lots of help, that's not going to uh, And you're wearing your glove, and you find that special someone uh, that you're wanting to give winky-winky face to. I admit that we focus. Uh, nowadays, you would you know, send them a Snapchat or something like that and be like, you're so lucky. I'm sure you guys do that all the time. Uh, but back then, in order to properly flirt, what you would do is you would pull off your glove, and then you would make eye contact. Uh, and then you would just <laughs> drop the glove. Uh, and you would drop it next to them. And if the boy returned it, then that was his way of like flirting back with you. And then if they didn't return it, <laughs> or awkwardly just shook their head while staring at you, also a solid option, uh, then that would be like how well you can know it. It's like those old days when you send the note, do you like me or do you like like me? And you sort of act as like, I like, like, like you. And you're like, oh, uh, and you get all excited. If the boy was like kicking the glove, he's like, hey, you drop this and kick it at you. Uh, that was a good sign things were not going the way you wanted. But if he picked it up and he was like, oh, my lady, and he handed the glove to you, then things are going well. So does she like him? Yeah. She does like him. But she decides to take it a bit further because of all the other girls watching her. She decides to up it a level. So where does she drop her glove? Lions. So instead of dropping it where we're all standing right here, she's like, oh, hey, oops, and he throws it behind her in the lion pit. She's like, I seem to have dropped my glove, and then looks over at him. Oh my gosh, the lions are going to eat him. Eat him. Yeah, yeah, so why is dropping her glove in the lions so important? Because the lion's going to eat him. Suskovich? Yeah. 
Nicely done. So part of it is to see if he'll go really far to go down there and grab it. It's a glove. Zoe. I thought her is making new just, gloves. She just wants to get a fishing rod and Maybe she I'm, out. could be. Uh, I, I'd hope not, but that yeah, would be an interesting way to kill somebody. But part of it is to the whole if he loves her, but that's only part of it to see if he loves her. Once done. again, who's all around them right now? Man, man. So what's the more important part of it? Braggy. <laughs> and so the fact that if he goes and grabs it, now she gets through the whole braggy braggy bit. But oh, not only does Super Hunky Man love me, but he went down there and punched a lion in the face. For and me. So she throws the glove down there to see if he'll go get it. <coughs> and our final stanza. <coughs> oh. No! I thought I'd get to the part where you actually wanted to keep reading a poem. Luckily, this poem is on your handout. She you gives you a chance to see it, and there's a real ending to it where you get to figure out what happened, but I leave that up to you. Yay, Mr. Gear, for robbing us of learning, but we learned other stuff, which was so much more important. <laughs>